Oh, my space is so filled up. I got nowhere I can put my games. I don't know what to do or where to put them. Well, fam bam guys, don't worry, I got you. This is Chris Mizo here and I want to share exactly how you can save all your games in another space if you have to. You don't have a C, a D, or even a E drive for no reason. You have the extra storage where you can store those games. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it through Steam, and it's gonna be a really short and simple video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, but let's get straight to the PC so I can show you how to navigate through Steam and be able to save the games somewhere else, a different file location on your PC. We're here at the PC, so let's go over to Steam and I'll show you exactly what to do. Now, I don't have anything plugged into the PC right now, and I only have one drive in this PC. So if you're like me right now, and you wanna have a portable storage solution hooked up to your PC and transfer all your games over, I'll show you exactly how easy it is to do so. Go into Steam and you're gonna go under settings. When you go to settings, you're gonna go down to storage. When you go down to storage, you'll see exactly how much space you have left in your storage drive. Right now I got 541 gigabytes left, but what if you don't, maybe you have one or two gigabytes left and you can't really save anything. It's gonna look like something like this when you first have just the C drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in my portable storage solution. It's just gonna be a one terabyte drive that I will hook up to this PC and from there, we will be able to save some games on there. And maybe you already have all the games installed and you just want to transfer one of the games over to the new drive. I'll show you exactly how easy it is to do so. So we're gonna hook this up. All right, perfect. So the PC recognized the drive as you saw as it popped up. And now you, you still will get this. Even if you exit out and go back in, it will still just say add drive. So all we have to do is press add drive. And we're just gonna go, it's gonna say zero bytes of zero bytes. Make sure it's a drive that you will use for your gaming use. And don't worry, it shouldn't delete any of the files on there. As proof, I'll go into the file right now. Actually, I have it cleared out right now. But we'll say zero bytes of uh, zero bytes free. You're just gonna click add. When you click add, you will see your new D drive. Bam, here it is, but there is no games on there. So how can you get all the games that you want onto your C drive? Now, let's say you just wanna transfer over, say Hitman 3. We can do that. Just hit the check mark, click move, and we will move it to the D drive. Click move, and next it will move the content over. While we wait, we're gonna just move the content over to the new D drive, and then from there, we're gonna test it out, play it for a little bit, and then we're gonna unplug it and replug it back in to see if there's any issues, to see if it's even possible to just have this portable storage solution for something like Steam. When it's finished, it'll say all content moves successfully. So we're gonna close this out. Now we can check the D drive and now we got Hitman 3 on there. Yes, we got some extra space. We freed up D drive at least a, f at least a few gigabytes. So now we're just gonna go into the game. We're gonna test it out to see how it performs or if there's it's gonna give us any issues. So it looks like there is an update for Hitman 3. We're gonna hit that real quick, update it really quick, nice. Now we're just gonna go into Hitman 3 to see if it plays smoothly. When downloading it into the drive, I did notice the graphical options had changed, so I just simply went to the settings and restored it to default, and from there, it was fixed. try to unplug this USB drive to make sure it's all good. So let's unplug it. We're going to go here and we're going to right click eject. All right, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to pull this out. 
Okay, so now we don't have the D drive installed anymore because again, it's portable. Now, as you can see, this popped up as install. So what happens if we replug in this portable drive? Will it give us any issues? Well, let's find out. Just like that, you saw it easily pop up and it immediately said play. So that lets you know right there, it will give you zero issues if you do have a, another drive, an external hard drive or SSD, preferably for your games. And as you can see, I can go to my D drive and it pops right back up. That resolves any storage issues. So the drive doesn't have to be internal. You can really use an external drive to play all your Steam games, especially if you're running low on storage or you need something temporary, or if you just have so many games downloaded that you prefer to put it onto another drive. Damn man, guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is struggling to be able to save their games on Steam, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big, wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, if you are trying to get the latest updates, make sure you follow my accent right here because it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan man, guys, what did you need help with? to navigate through Steam. Is there any other ideas that you would want me to share with you guys to help you guys out? Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.